Garrison uh, was a little town. We went there for, um, they had theater groups playing there. And I went there to, we went there to see a, a, a theater production. Yeah, but Clary was also there too with her pottery. And uh, I saw her pots and they, and they just, uh, it had a, a major effect on me. They just uh, uh, kind of opened up my ideas on what I could do with, with pottery. And then I learned uh, about her experience at the Leech uh, studio over in England. And I began to read about uh, Bernard, Bernard Leach and Soji Hamada, and I can show you just, on, just, just, yeah. I have a, a pot here. This is just a mug. Um, most, most mugs you see, are, are they're, they have a beautiful, fine, perfect shape. But I, I kind of do some sculpting on this. this. This is really even different than what Clary's doing, but I still got it, this in my head that I could do this from, from, from Clary's pots. What, what Clary does, the shape she makes, it's, it seems to me it's a lot of it has to do with her treadle wheel. I don't know if she's talked with you about that, but I think that she thinks that that really is, is part of the, of the pot. Well, for me, um, it, that's not so much. What I use is I have a Brent wheel, it's an electric wheel. And so I'll throw this and I'll make a, a, a perfect side to make, make a, the, the shape I'm looking for, but then I'll push it around and sculpt it. And, and that sculpting idea, it really got into my, was first uh, kind of introduced to my thinking with Clary. Do you think it makes it more um, attractive to, to pick up for someone rather than a perfect shape? You almost don't want to touch it with its... Mm. I think it depends. I think it depends on the person, but uh, for me, it's just more of a an, uh, an expression of, of um, it's not just a perfect shape. You know that a lot of potters make a perfect shape and then they they put a glaze on it. Well, this is more personalized for me. Uh, it, it it sets it apart as as as, as more something that I'm doing rather than. Uh, just making a, a perfect shaped pot and putting a glaze on it. Yeah, that kind of personalizes. I think she does this. Uh, she has this gets this asymmetrical look into her pots more by just the simple throwing of the pot on that treadle wheel, and that's what I really liked about her pots. See, I didn't think you could do that before I looked at Clary's pots. But Clary put that kind of seed in my mind that I could make something that wasn't just a, a perfect shape. But then we go at it different ways. We get there different ways. She does it by just throwing the pot. I've been doing pottery uh, probably since full time for about 15 years. But uh, my first introduction to pottery was in the 70s, Carl Christensen was a studio person at a pottery studio that was connected with the Davenport Art Gallery, and I took several classes from him. I'm making a, a bowl here. Simple bowl. And this bowl will have a, when I'm done with it, I'll, I'll let it set up and then I'll trim a foot on the bottom of it. Uh, I made pottery out of the Pottery Guild for about five of those years, and then, um, and then just started doing it by myself out here. I would make pots for uh, for a, for a time out here. I made pots out of my basement, uh, and I would take the pots into town and have them fired and glaze them in town. Uh, and then slowly over the years, I was able to get everything situated out here so I could do it. I could be self-sufficient out here. I live out in um, just north of a little town uh, called Donahue, which is about uh, 20 miles from Davenport, Iowa. And then what I'm going to do is just, uh, this is where the, the idea of kind of sculpting a little bit comes in.
pushing from the inside a little bit. And then I'll kind of finish it off here a little bit on the top. I'm a potter, and at the same time, I have a background in wildlife biology, so I've been, uh, with the land we have, we have about 40 acres of land, and I've been kind of turning it back into a wildlife refuge. I think for a lot of potters, part of the reason they're potters is, is simply because of the lifestyle itself. A lot of potters live out in the country, you know, and they, and with my background in wildlife biology, I've been able to, to uh, to change this land from a, from a hog farm into a wildlife refuge. And uh, there's, there's a quote by, by Andy Warhol. And I, I, I saw that quote and I cut it out and put it on my refrigerator. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs>